Texas out here. <laughs> and he said, well, amen. Well, we finna get ready to go to some baptism. Uh, so, already. All, already. We done had two services last night. Yeah. Off the plane. <laughs> Repent. <laughs> huh? Doing it like John the Baptist. Repent. <laughs> Repent. Um, but the word of Yahweh is powerful. Yeah. It's sharp and ever in it to it. So, my dad said it's quick and it's powerful. Yeah, the spirit moves quick around here. Uh huh. Yeah. Some things people don't understand why y'all marry them so fast. We do things quick around here. Because the spirit is set up to bring us all out of sin. Hallelujah. But I try to thank Yahweh for that man. As the saints, let us all keep him in prayer. As well as Sister Shanira that's with him. And others that will be laboring among them as well. I believe that they're definitely going to need it. Just as the spirit of the Lord is down there and in the heart of those that may want to serve him. We understand that there are also men that will fight against this very thing. So Apostle Paul, he said, pray for us. Um, how many of us take time to pray for this thing here? Pray for us. Uh, that the, that the, the spirit of the Lord, the word may have free course to do what it's set up to do. Amen. That they may also be delivered from wicked and unreasonable men. Yeah. Uh, because there's many people out there that are very wicked. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And they are unreasonable. They don't want to hear what the Lord has for them. Yeah. But thank God there's still people out there also. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that has a heart to want to hear what the Lord is instructing yeah. them. Yeah. Understand that I created, created you to be holy. Yeah. I, I created you in my image. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That you may be holy. And without blame before him in love. Uh, so the spirit wants you to go down in that water. Amen. Come up a new creature. Clean, huh? Washed free of those sins. Amen. That once condemned us. Now being, now you're no longer blamed. Amen. It's definitely a blessing and honor to have our beloved prophet Jenkins back here with us. Uh, you have no idea how much you've been missed, sir. All those that's been absent. Pastor Bill. Yeah. Amen, hon. There's one, though there's one body, there's many members. Yeah. Hmm? I feel weird without my toe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my boy, without that, that pinky toe. Hmm? Yeah, you'd be off balance. Your equilibrium may be off a little bit. So it's good to see that Pastor uh, 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 Prophet Jenkins is here with us. Yeah. I thank y'all for you all that are here. Thank you always for you all that is pressing, that's fighting, the good fight of faith here. Amen. Amen. But at the same time, saints, even though this is a joyous day, as they all should, the Lord wakes us up in the morning, we all should be giving thanks. Amen. Amen. Despite the adversities that you and I may face, Amen. that we all should give thanks Amen. to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Brother Paul said, I should put away foolish talking, amen, and just if it's not convenient, he said, but rather giving of thanks. So it's really easy to wake up and talk crazy. Hallelujah. Based off what you're going, going on in your life, I don't want to work. I'm feeling sick. Hallelujah. Huh? Whatever the case may be, I don't know how I'm going to take care of this, that, and the other. But he said, give thanks. Hallelujah. So I thank you for the breath of life that's within me. Why? Why? This is another, it's an opportunity. For me to continue to redeem the time. Yeah. Seeing that the days are evil. Hallelujah. I can look out there and I see how much wickedness is in the world. Yeah. So it's an opportunity for me to redeem the time. Yeah. To continue to get correct. Be perfected yeah. in this way here. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 But the word always has something for us. Yeah. I don't know which way the spirit is going to go. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just speaking unto you. Yeah. But when it goes forth, remember that joy that you have right now. Yeah. I mean, something just might be said. That's right. <laughs> Huh? Remember, you just got through saying, Amen. Let the brother say, The brother was saying, Amen. What? Huh? Spirit said, Let the sister say, Amen. You were saying, Amen. What? All right, well, remember that if you have those words upon your tongue. Remember, the words are not thee, it's even in thy mouth. Remember, Amen. It's still supposed to come out. Right. Hallelujah. Right. It's just not a song, it's our life. It is our life. Yeah. Amen. At this time, we're going to call everyone's attention, if you will. Let's go to Romans 15. Amen. 
Amen. Romans 15 and 1. 15 and 1. It is written. It is written. We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Amen. Apostle Washington, I truly thank Yahweh how the spirit really operates in him. Amen. 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 I love how the spirit really communes with him and how it attends to every matter in our lives. Yes, Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes we go forth and we question at times, why is he saying this? Why is he saying that? Right. But the man of God came across and said that, you know, that we are saved by the foolishness of preaching. Amen. I love how the spirit, it points certain things in our lives. Um, because truth be told, we don't have enough strength on our own to be able to Amen. receive salvation. Amen. That we have to learn to put our source in something else. Amen. And that the spirit knows the intent of all men. Yes. Even with the, uh, the mother of Yeshua, the Messiah. How the prophet Simeon even spoke and said, told unto her that even this word itself have to be spoken unto you. To higher self, pitch even your own soul. You only even pitch your own soul. He said, so that the thoughts of every man's heart may be revealed. But there's much in you and I, hallelujah, that this flesh loves to hide. You see, look at people and say they in denial. They can't see. Because they flesh refuse to allow them to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the spirit, it reveals everything unto us. Mm -hmm. That's why I can went on and say that now you are inexcusable, old man, whosoever you are. But I reveal this very thing unto you so that you can no longer have a cloak for your sins. Truth has been manifested unto you. Mm -hmm. So you're saved by the foolishness of preaching. Uh, he, the man of God said, without it, we'll do wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. Without it, he'll do wrong. Even though our Lord, our God, which we serve, Yahweh, he used many men. You read about the prophets Amen. and old. Amen. You read about those judges. Amen. But at the same time, what he still had to give, that was something that he had to do himself. He looked down and found no man worthy enough to be able to bring forth salvation. So it, it behooved him. Otherwise, it became necessary for him. But to take on simple flesh, this very stuff that's giving you and I problems, to come and introduce salvation because I couldn't use anybody that was messed up. Even though David was a man after Yahweh's own heart, he still wasn't worthy enough of this. Still wasn't worthy enough of this. Though I were allowed the seed to come from you. Hallelujah. Though you shall be related, hallelujah, yeah. but salvation is going to come through my son. That's right. yeah. and so I love how the spirit continues to minister yeah. unto us. So that we can slow down and look at this thing with eyes that we've never seen a look before. Yeah. Having the scales removed from our eyes. Yeah. 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 So the man of God, he is always preparing us. Yeah. There's a great work that's ahead of us. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Amen. I love how he prophesied. He said, it don't stop even when you get old. Mm -hmm. Look at my father. He's what? 63? Mm -hmm. 63? Amen. And no one in here. Look, I got youth on me. Well, use it. <laughs> huh? You can't beat me running. Hallelujah. Okay, well, what about this spiritual race? Mm -hmm. On your mark, get set, be done. <laughs> race over. Hallelujah. But with him being 63 years old, huh? Our labor does not line up with his. It don't match with his. As humble as Apostle Stanford is, don't even come close. And, 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 and we, we esteem this man. He, he may create a much sacrifice. Hallelujah, huh? Think about Pastor Riddle in this case here. All that he's continuing to do in love. Him. There's one bishop that we can put our trust in out there. Uh, some of the saints of love will begin to faint a little bit. Uh -huh. Mother Washington out here. Pastor Washington out here. Justine and Pastor Ritter, they on going on to Arlington. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. yeah. hey, yeah. Can we just tune in to Arlington? <laughs> it's because of what he's doing. Hallelujah. You got to give, you got to show the people something. I mean, you got to give, I didn't say tell them something. Hallelujah. You got to show the people something. Uh -huh. Faith without works is dead. Hallelujah. Amen. 
You show me yours without it, and I'll show you mine with it. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Amen. So the man of God, he's continuing to prepare us, and he he never tells us anything that he hasn't done himself. So right now, he wants us to be strong. Hallelujah. We that are strong. Ought to bear the infirmity. If you're not the strong, weak. get strong. Amen. Bible said, let the weak say what? I'm let the weak say what? I'm let the weak say what? I'm Come on, say it like you mean it. I'm let the weak strong. say, I'm what? I'm Come on now, you know football games, they have pet rabbits. <laughs> We're going to beat them. <laughs> you don't sound too confident there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't sound too confident there. But you now they in there in the hood. Ha, 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 <laughs> Making whatever chance they had. Yeah. <laughs> they just might lose, but they got enough confidence. Yeah. They got a playbook, huh? What's that, Apostle? No. <laughs> That's right. So we that are strong. Ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. You know, everybody in here is supposed to be strong. Amen. Amen. Why? If you're supposed to be strong. Yeah. Hmm? yeah, you might have a weak husband. Hallelujah. But the Spirit is asking you, wife, to still be strong. Yes. Husband, the Spirit is asking you to be strong. Yes. Amen. Hmm? You get this in to the point of where it says that you have no man need to teach you. Yes. Huh? My, mom, my mother got with me concerning a sister in the, in the, in the faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. Huh? And because of a husband can be weak at times. It causes her to get weak. But in reality, no one should get weak if you put your source in the one that's able to strengthen you. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, huh? What did Yahshua the Messiah say to his disciples, huh? He said, how long shall I suffer you? How long shall I be with you? He said, oh, faithless. That's where it starts. You're having no faith. And perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Now bring him here. He said it for a very reason. You and I, we've been here all this time. Hmm? Amen. So you have to break it down just a little bit. Hallelujah. Huh? It don't matter if your husband is weak. Huh? He should be strong, though. It don't matter if your wife is weak. She should be strong. You do the right thing, you're going to continue to honor him, or you're going to continue not to be bitter with her. Because if the Lord comes back, you're doing it because you want to be saved. Hallelujah. You want to be saved. So a situation in your life shouldn't change your strength. Huh? Right there and that right deacon. Oh, yeah. The Amen. situation ain't changing his strength. No. I, I take that back. It is changing his strength. Amen. It's making him stronger. Amen. It's making him stronger. Amen. Huh? The spirit is here to pump you up. <laughs> it's here to pump you up. Amen. Huh. Don't be a girly man. <laughs> Give me a girly, girly, girly woman. Amen. Amen. And we said bodily exercise that profit love. Huh? Yeah. But that which is in the spirit is that it is profitable and is acceptable in all things. Amen. So the word of Yahweh is acceptable. It's able to make you do the very thing that you think you cannot do. Amen. How do you do it, Deacon? <laughs> Because the word of God is profitable and it's yeah. acceptable in all things. Amen. His situation can accept the word of Yahweh. Yeah, that's right. That's right. His seed remaineth in him. Yeah. Therefore, he cannot see him. Yeah. I'm proud of this young man. Amen. There's an office that's waiting him. Yeah. And the Spirit is already using him mightily. Call you young man because you were strong. Amen. Stand up. Hallelujah. Show those muscles. Flex that spirit. Ooh, look at that. Hallelujah. Look at that. Therefore, we that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. This is what you ought to do. And not to please ourselves. Come on now, saying So the Spirit is pushing us continue to think about Mexico. Right. Oh, yeah. To bear Amen. the infirmities. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Of the weak. Yes. What that means is that the issues and complications, yes. the things that, 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 uh, uh, that, that are existent, hallelujah, uh -huh. for us all to bear those infirmities yes. of the weak. 
even in here to bear the infirmities. And I had a meeting with those who are spirit driven and I was sharing with them the things that I bear for their sake. Hallelujah, huh? If I would have gave up, Brother Lee probably wouldn't be here today. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Deacon Holloway probably wouldn't be here today. Yeah. Hmm? I, could, I could have a new crew. Hmm? Yes, Amen. But just like Apostle Paul, and I, I'm trying to be more and more like my father. Yeah. I, I did not desire yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm? But I desired you. I want you to be saved. Yeah. Amen. I want to see you here in your right mind. Yeah. Hallelujah. Having peace. Who spoke about peace, Brother Luke? Yeah. Yeah. Having that peace. Yeah. Amen. That's what I ask. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. So we that are strong, we ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. Of the weak. Uh huh. And not to please ourselves. And not to please ourselves. Uh huh. huh? It's not about you. No, hmm? Not at all. It's not about you. Yeah. Hmm? All the time it come about you when you saying it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Standing in the need of prayer. Yes, Lord. Yeah. When people yeah. get weak, you should throw a fit. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's right. The father said that when people get weak, hallelujah, he don't change on them. No. We still sit at the table and eat with them. Yeah. Still make them feel love. Yeah. That's, what I, that's what we have to do. The Spirit is asking us through Apostle Washington, amen, to make the uh, uh, church of Mexico feel love. Amen. But he went on and said it's going to fall within our sacrifices. Yes, sir, read it. Let every one of us please his neighbor for uh -huh. his good to edification. For his good to edification. Amen. It's all about edifying one another. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Yeah. We die. Apostle Paul said, I die that you may live. Yeah. It's all about the edifying one another in here. Amen. Yeah. I die that you may live. Yes, Yahweh. Yeah. With spirit driven. I got more lives than a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of laughed today because I said, one more engine explode, I'm explode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my eighth flight. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not about pleasing me. No. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. But for your edification, I want you to be edified. Hmm? When you're edified, you begin to see things differently. Amen. Let me be appreciative to what the Lord has did for yes. us. Hallelujah. Let me not take this uh, for granted. Hmm? I don't want to take advantage of this here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I read it. For even the Messiah pleased not himself. For even the Messiah, he pleased not himself. But as it is written, uh huh. The reproaches yes, sir. of them that reproach thee fell on me. Read it, read it. For whatsoever things were written before aforetime uh -huh. were written for our learning. Come on now. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Yes, sir. See, I love how Apostle Washington, he always he, he never do anything without the scripture. Amen. 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 He never do anything without the scripture. Amen. 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 Yeah, if people get to talking all, he say, show me scripture. Uh -huh. That's right. I don't want to just hear your mouth. But don't you know that you and I, we supposed to learn from this very thing that we Amen. read? Amen. You're supposed to learn from it how to be. Amen. Not to be like the latter day saints in a matter. Hallelujah. But then also learn how to be like the latter day saints in another matter. Hallelujah. It's written for your, your learning. So Apostle Wise, he took us a certain scriptures to, for us to remember the saints of Mexico. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. Because they are, they on there, they need us. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Apostle Washington, he need us. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir, read. Now, now the God of patience and consolation mm -hmm. grant you to be like minded one toward another. I want you to be uh, granted to be like minded one, one toward, toward another. another. Mm -hmm. It's very important that we son. have the same mind, saints. Amen. Amen. That's right. The Spirit wants us to think about Mexico. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It wants us to think about Mexico. Yeah. Be like minded. One time, Apostle Paul, he wrote to the church of Philippi. He was addressing the matter. He said, I beseech you, Eodius and Sintaichi, that you be of the same mind concerning the Messiah. Amen. You true yoke fella. Hallelujah. You that's part of this very thing. You know that when the word go forth, <laughs> and the Spirit has been speaking about finances a lot lately. Because, you know, we all have an opinion about it. We all got an opinion about it. it, it I, I had an opinion about it. Yeah, it's like a knee jerk. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you know, Paul said, I entreat you, you true yoke fella. You that's part of this thing here. Hmm? He said, I want you to labor with them. Hallelujah. The labor with me in this gospel. 
Help those that are with, with Clement, hallelujah, and all those others that labor with me also. So we got to have the same mind. We can't just have one person that's doing this thing. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. We just can't have one person doing this thing. So the spirit wants us to have the same mind concerning this thing. Yeah. Once again, the walls of Jericho didn't come down until they all had the same mind. That's right. Been on one accord. Yes, I read it. Now the God of patience and consolation uh -huh. grant you to be like-minded one toward another according to Yahshua the Messiah. According to Yahshua the Messiah. That ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify Yahweh. That you with one mouth. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. uh, we had one mouth earlier. Remember? Amen. 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 <laughs> Ooh, I like this song. Some of you heard it before. <laughs> Looking at Jessica's children. They little moving a little bit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah, huh? Dance to the music. <laughs> Dance to the music. But can't you hear the music playing? Amen. Hallelujah. It's a symphony. Hallelujah. Amen. Word, word of God says it's like a symphony. It's a melody. Amen. In your heart. Hmm. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yes, sir. Read it, Brother Willie. That ye may with one mind and that one you, mouth glorify uh -huh. Yahweh. Yes, sir. Even the Father of our Lord Yahshua the Messiah. Come on now. Wherefore receive ye one another. Now, wherefore receive you one another. Uh -huh. As the Messiah also received us to the glory now. of Yahweh. Come on now. Let's receive. Let's receive Mexico. Amen. Yeah. All right. Let's receive Amen. Mexico. Amen. They way down there. Let's receive them. Amen. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. As Messiah also received us. Amen. Yeah. Hmm? That's right. When you first heard this gospel preaching, your heart was pricked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You was thanking Yahweh. Mm -hmm. That's your Apostle Paul said that we're no longer a strangers, mm -hmm. yeah. a foreigners, but we're made fellow citizens. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? We're Yeshua and of those of the household of faith here. Yeah. We're made fellow citizens. You was glad to be received in their food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. These people here, they, uh, they, they part of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got we got to look further than what we're looking. Yeah. Yes, I read it. <clears throat> now I say that Yahshua the Messiah was a minister of the circumcision uh -huh. for the truth of Yahweh. Yeah, see, you know, Yahshua the Messiah, when he came, hallelujah, uh -huh. said he was a minister huh, unto the circumcision. That was a time was going to come when the gospel was going to get to the Gentiles. Amen. Uh, I think about Apostle Washington, huh? Yeah. When, amen. In this case here, amen? Yeah. Yeah, we first. His desire when men want to go to Mexico. Uh -huh. But he was a minister unto us. He's still a minister unto us. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But now, Pastor Paul, he's, he's expounding more. Yeah. The furtherance. Yes. He's expounding more on the furtherance of the gospel. Yes, sir, read it. Now I say. Now I say. That Yahshua the Messiah was a minister of the circumcision uh -huh. for the truth of Yahweh. Yes, sir. To confirm the promises made unto the Father. Read it. And that the Gentiles might glorify Yahweh for oh, his mercy. Oh, that Mexico may glorify. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh, that Mexico might glorify. Amen. Uh -huh. That Mexico might glorify. Yahweh for his mercy, uh -huh. as it is written. As it is written. For this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles uh -huh. and sing unto thy name. Mm -hmm. And again he said, yes, sir. Rejoice, yes. ye Gentiles. Rejoice, ye people. Gentiles. Huh? These, look, they, I, I'm telling you, in Mexico, they rejoicing. Yeah. Can't wait to get uh, uh, Apostle Washington out there yeah. to hear what he has for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, but come on, you Gentiles, you rejoice uh -huh. with who? With this people. Why well, we ain't rejoicing. Amen. Amen. They supposed to be rejoicing right along with us. Hallelujah. But when finance is getting involved, yeah. when the work and labor get involved, all of a sudden we find ourselves not wanting to rejoice anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Say Yahshua sure was a minister of the circumcision. Yeah, he came to his people. Hallelujah. Huh? You heard the gospel first. Hallelujah. Now Yahweh has opened up doors for others to hear it. Amen. Hmm? So rejoice, you Gentiles, uh, with these people. Uh, come on, saints. We need to rejoice. Hallelujah. Yes, I read it. And again, he said, and again, he said rejoice, ye Gentiles, with these people. Uh -huh. And again, praise the Lord, uh -huh. all ye Gentiles. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. And love him, all you people. And I know that's what they're doing out there in Mexico. Uh -huh. Yes, his, 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 uh, 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 what do you call it, or whatever? It's, yeah, it's pretty thick. <laughs> it's pretty thick. 
His, yeah, other words, his schedule is, is there we go. Uh, is booked up. People that, 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 that want to be part of this thing. They want to hear this thing. Yes, sir, read it. And again, praise the Lord. Again, praise the Lord. All you Gentiles. Uh -huh. And Lord him, all you people. And I don't just want you to praise him, Mexico. Yeah. Hmm? I want you to praise him extravagantly. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, put some emphasis behind it yes, because the Lord has been good to you. Yeah. Uh, for this gospel to come down and minister unto you. Yeah. But this is what they're going to do. That's why they cried. Hallelujah. When the rain came. I know this is a man of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I know this. You are a man of God. But it was ordained for this to take place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And again. And again. As so I said. Yes, sir. There shall be a root of Jesse. There shall be a root of Jesse. And he that shall rise to reign over the Gentiles. Uh huh. And him shall the Gentiles trust. You see, when what's happening, they learn to tr uh, put their trust in Yahweh. Amen. Mm. All because of the sacrifices that has been made. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah, but we have to continue to strengthen our brothers. Hallelujah. Uh, when Apostle Paul spoke to Barnabas, that is going back to Derby here, huh? To see to the well being of our brothers. Hallelujah. To confirm the souls of those disciples that they stay exhorted. It, it, it gonna definitely take finances. Yeah, that's right. It continues for them to put their trust in the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is what the Spirit is asking for. Hallelujah. It's a shift in our lives. Yeah. To the point that Apostle Washington said that it won't stop until the Spirit said it. So, so go ahead and put on that shield of preparation. <laughs> go ahead and prepare. Let's prepare ourselves. Hmm? Come on, let's prepare ourselves. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Read on. Now the God of hope. Now the God of hope. Fill you with all joy and peace and believing. Now this is what I'm expecting of you. Amen. Now, 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 now let our God of hope fill you, fill you with all joy and peace and believing. Now, come on, if there's any consolation of the Spirit, yeah. uh -huh. any comfort of love, any bowels of mercy, any fellowship of the Spirit, Amen. come on, fulfill ye my joy. Amen. Fulfill ye my joy. Amen. Now, I know that the God of hope fill you with all joy. I know it because, because he called us to be this way. That's right. That's right. Our God is able to put this in us. Amen. If we just open up our hearts. Amen. Hmm? Open up our hearts. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Read it, Brother Will. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy uh -huh. and peace and believing. I want you to have some peace. <laughs> in believing. And in believing this. Amen. Have some peace about Amen. this. Amen. And, and believe this. Uh -huh. hmm? I can't believe they're asking for another sacrifice. <laughs> Have some peace about it, Lord. And believe this. Uh -huh. hmm? That you may abound in hope. That you may abound in hope. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh, because you're doing so, you're going to abound in here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, peace will make you loosen your purse string. Yeah. Yeah. Open it up. Hmm? Yes. But Apostle Paul, he's saying that I, I know that the God of hope will fill you. Yeah. Um, but you're going to have to hold fast to this here. Right. You know, when the word goes forth, we don't like everything. It is something the Spirit don't mind except yeah. hmm? yeah. Fill me up. Hmm. I love that part. Right. Hmm? Amen. But then there's certain things that come and just don't, they don't taste all that well. Right. Hmm? Amen. Hmm? Because the flesh wants to live. Yes. Right. Uh, but since this is important of holding fast to the word. Amen. Apostle Paul, he told Timothy, he said, now come on now, Timothy. Huh? His Apostle Paul was always preparing Timothy. Yes, yes. The things that he would face, just like Apostle Washington, he prepared us all. Mm? Yes. Hold fast to the form of sound words. Mm? Yes. Their sacrifice don't sound too good. Yes. <laughs> Hold fast now to the form of sound words, which you have heard of me. Amen. Uh, we all heard some things Thursday. <laughs> we all heard some things Tuesday. Yep. Yeah. Whether you're tuning in to Lubbock or Arlington. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even planning on having service out there Tuesday. Huh? But the Spirit pressed him. Yeah. Because the Spirit needed them to hear some things. Amen. Uh, and he came out out here. He said, son, make sure that I don't get off too late. Hallelujah, because I got to get there to the church. Because the Spirit wants the saints to hear some things. Yeah. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. So hold fast a form of sound words. Amen. Yeah. Which you have heard of me. He said, and in faith, 
because faith is going to cause you to hold on to it. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. All right, people there. I can't hold on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. And yet those are boosting their confidence, trying to increase their faith, not to let go. If they let go, they're going to fall. Yeah. Hold on. You can do it a little longer. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. So hold on. Amen. Amen. With faith, he said, and with love in Yeshua the Messiah. Yeah. If you don't have no love to him, then your faith is going to waver. Yeah. Your love is going to waver. Your faith is going to waver if it's not towards Yahshua the Messiah. Amen. I, I had a dream about a sister, and I shared it with her. Amen? And I said, why are you here? Right. What do you mean, bro? I said, why are you here? Why are you here? She said, well, I'm here because I want to be saved. I said, Ben, want to be saved is not good enough. No. Amen. It's not good enough. Amen. Amen. When you say you want, you want to be saved, you don't want to die, right? And your sins, hallelujah. So you say you, say you yeah. want to you want to be saved. But want to be saved is not good enough. There's people out there that don't want to die. Right. But yet yeah. they can't stop smoking. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. They won't do nothing about it. I don't want to die. They understand that smoking costs cancer. Yeah. And they say they don't want to die, but yet <laughs> keep smoking. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Got a problem with, with the drinking. Causes what? Cirrhosis of the of the of the, of the liver. Come on, spirit. Mm -hmm. But they won't stop. But they say they don't want to die. Yeah. But on the contrary, your actions, your conduct, your behavior, your, all of that is speaking against you. Yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. Hunter. So if you love life and say you live, do good and live. Yeah. Do good and live. Yeah. Do good and live. Yeah. Amen. Choose life and live. Yeah. That you might live. Right. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. But I say, I have never had a dream about you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Right. Uh, but, but something was troubling. Huh? Yeah. The spirit was troubling. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Shook a foundation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Huh? Yeah. She's still here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So yeah. love is what's going to cause you to do the right thing. Yeah. 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 So he's went on and said, now this good thing is yes, it's good. What was shared with us? It's good. Yeah. Yeah. This good thing which I decide to commit unto thee. Yeah. I committed this unto you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Spirit shares all some, some things with us. Yeah. Huh? That he also wants us to keep with the Holy Spirit, which yeah. is within in us. That's right. That's what's gonna cause us to keep it. Yeah. Having yeah. Yahshua Messiah dwelling in us, it will cause us. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. To, to, to do the right thing and yes, cause you also to Amen. abound. Amen. 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 Glory. That's right. Amen. Because the Spirit is asking of us to do some things. He said, now, Timothy, this now, you know this much here. Mm -hmm. He said, but how all those of ages they have forsaken me, of whom I speak of, 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 of what's his name? Philigus and Hermonius. Mm -hmm. He said, but there was a, a, a one individual, mm -hmm. the house of Onesiphorus. Amen. How he was there to refresh me. Amen. Amen. So the Spirit is asking of us of certain matters. Don't you know we can be just like those in the, in, 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 that we read about in Asia? Yeah. How they turn from uh, the, the man of God apostle? Yeah. Yeah. How many of us going to turn around based off this fundraiser? Right. Not only that, but all, any that the Spirit is asking of us. Amen. 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 Yeah. He said this good thing which was committed unto us. Good thing. Amen. What good thing he committed unto us? Uh, Pastor Paul once said, he said, now concerning the collection for the saints. Mm -hmm. The collection for the saints. What saints? The saints in Mexico. Yeah. Concerning the collection for the saints. Yeah. In which I ordered. <laughs> Didn't he say that? In which I had ordered to the church of Galatia. Uh, some things was ordered here in Arlington. They were ordered out there in love. Mm -hmm. The church of Galatia. And unto you as well. That upon the first week of every month. Upon the first week of every month that every man put up and stored that Yahweh had prospered in him. Yeah. That when I choose to come on back, hallelujah, that there shall be no gathering. Why do you think Apostle Washington said that if we stay ready, hallelujah, we won't have to get ready. Yeah. It won't be a need for this, that, and the other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we put in store what Yahweh had prospered unto us, what Yahweh blessed you with. He said, therefore, thou may take this liberty, hallelujah, unto Jerusalem. Yeah. Hallelujah. hallelujah. That which was put up. It shouldn't be new unto us. Amen. Yes, sir, Apostle. After um, the message went forth Thursday night, uh, Brother Willie, he came in the office 
with an envelope. Ah. And he presented it to an apostle. He said, this is a sacrifice. He said, this is not from the 200. Not from the 200. That me and my wife would be given. But this right here is a sacrifice that we're making toward the work in Mexico. Y'all hear that? I love that. I'm glad you brought that up. He said it for a reason. huh? Because the Spirit wants to know about that. Yeah. Huh? So Apostle Paul said, now I beseech you, brethren. huh? You know the house of Stephanus. See, there's people that we can use for an example who we can look at. He just mentioned this man. <laughs> he just mentioned this man. You know the house of Stephanus. Hmm? You know the house of Stephanus. How they had addicted themselves unto the ministry. Hmm? They addicted themselves unto the ministry. Amen. Oh, I thank Yahweh for the coming of her Stephanus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Her importunity. Huh? How they supplied that which was lacking on your part. Yes. Amen. How they refresh my spirit and yours. Yes. You know how Hallelujah. I refresh your spirit? Huh? Yes. When somebody do something like that, it causes you to think. Yes. <laughs> I need to be like them. Yeah. Be like. <laughs> be like. If you want to be a child of God, yeah. be like me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Thank you all for you. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Huh? So if we all have the same mind concerning the collection for the poor. That's right. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Maybe we should have a love offering for the poor. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, Mother Sheree. Sister Jessica, um, when we made that announcement about selling, of course, no one name was back there on the calendar, but she uh, came to me and said if she can uh, do the sub sandwiches, she would love to participate in donating for the sale. So that that's what that was on Thursday. And then she said if she can help with anything, she want to help, and just let her know, and she will be there to do it. See, uh, so this thing has to be in you. And listen, this thing has to be in you. She said nobody's name was back there. But I remember the announcement. Here it is, you sisters. Amen. See, I've heard the announcement Amen. was made. See, but if it's not in you to make a sacrifice to cook on these Thursdays, yeah. then that part of a sacrifice or say fundraising will lack. Amen. Um, but one, you're able to hear a matter and see a need and meet it. Hmm? That's why Apostle Paul said, I thank Yahweh, I thank Yahweh for the coming of. Yes. You came in just right in time, sister. You ain't been to faith long. Hallelujah. Um, but there's others being in here. Hallelujah. Amen. If every sister had a heart like Sister Ray Ray, it'd be lined up back there. Hallelujah. Amen. Why, it'd be lined up back there. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. So you have to thank Yahweh for those that will come Amen. and supply that which was lacking on your part. Amen. You lacking? Hallelujah. Um, where's the amens now? It's getting quiet now. Huh? Hallelujah. It's getting quiet now, huh? Sisters, you hear this? Getting quiet now. I don't want to cook. Yeah. Amen, huh? Amen. See, when your heart is in the right place, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Uh, the Lord said, remember the poor. So in this case here, I'm thinking about Teach Romero and, and his, his family, right? Yeah. You always will. They'll be out here by the end of this month. Hmm? How you think they're going to get their furniture out here? Amen. 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 A sacrifice on who part? Amen. But sometimes we walk like this. All right, sisters, we need those to sign up for. Come on, volunteer for this, that, and the other. I want to go the third week. Why not the first week? Why not be the, the first week? The first week. Yeah. Huh? He 
he's saying, but he, he didn't want to be prepared. So when he said, Apostle Paul said that when he was uh, concerning the house of Stephanus, how he said he was the first fruit of Achaia. Bring your first fruit. Amen. Amen. Pre present something. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. They were the first one to believe. In other words, they were the first one to be the first fruit of Achaia. Huh? So when you hear, you're going to jump out there. You ain't waiting on nobody. Hallelujah. 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 Faith with words. They heard Apostle Paul. There was others there that, that was there when Apostle Paul preached. But he said they was the first fruit of Achaia. Amen. Meaning they changed. Hmm? They was converted. So in a dream, I, I shared with the sister, I said, the spirit is still waiting for you to be converted. Yeah, Even though we can be in the house of Yahweh, many of us are not converted. Hallelujah. Yeah, you can be called, huh? But you're not converted. Yeah. Huh? The Spirit's calling you to be converted. Yeah. Yes, Amen. Yes, sir. Read it. Now the God of hope. Now the God of hope. Fill you with all joy. Now you still want to be filled with all this what hope? Yeah. And peace. And you still, do you, where's the peace? Hmm? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Read it. And believing. And come on, you have to believe this. That you may huh? Come on, hope. believe this. Believe huh? Believe this, John said that I have not written unto you because you not know the truth, but you know the truth, and that there's no lie in the truth. Amen. What I'm sharing with you, you need to believe this because it's truth. Hallelujah. Amen. The truth shall set you free. For this purpose I came into the world, Yeshua the Messiah said, that I may bear witness unto, unto the truth. All we have to give unto you is truth. Amen. Silver and gold we have not. Amen. Silver and gold we have not. Hallelujah. Amen. But we have plenty of truth. Amen. 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 And it shall set you free. Set you free. Come on now, brother. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing. Come on now. That you may abound in hope. That you may abound in hope. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on now, through the power of the Holy Ghost. And I myself also am persuaded of you, mm -hmm. my brethren. Yes, sir. That you also are full of goodness. Uh-huh. Filled with all knowledge. Now I'm persuaded that you are full of goodness. Amen. Huh? Hey, Amen. I'm persuaded that we all can do this. Yes, and then when I share with you spirit driven, huh? Yeah. I keep telling Brother Lee, I'm persuaded good things of you. Yeah, I know you had this accident. I know you had that accident. I know you had this accident. I know you had that accident. Accident, accident, accident. But I'm persuaded good things of him. Amen. Persuaded better things of him. Hallelujah. Hmm? Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now he's a little engine that could. Hmm? Come on now. Yes, I can do this. No accident. So he comes to me Thursday, prophet. I've been out there to make sure I'm not, I'm watching everything. I'm not trying doing this. I'm not, that's what I want to hear. Huh? Speak the things that become sound doctrine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yes, I read it. And I myself also am persuaded of you. And I also am persuaded of you. My brethren. My brethren. That you also are full of goodness. Come on, read it, read it. Filled with all knowledge. Read it, come on. Able also to admonish one another. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, brethren. Yes, sir. I have written the more boldly unto you uh -huh. in some sort. See, the spirit have to come to us boldly sometimes. Amen. 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 Some Amen. Don't push me. I'm too close to the edge. Get on out there. <laughs> yeah. Get on out there. <laughs> This is what the spirit wants to move. Amen. Go out there on some faith. You ain't gonna die. Right. No. Amen. That cliff you on, it's not as high as you think it is. No, it isn't. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Amen. How you walk out there on faith? Hallelujah. You'll be all right. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Read it. Nevertheless, Nevertheless brethren, brethren come I on have now. written the more boldly uh -huh. unto you in some sort. Read it, read it. As putting you in mind uh -huh. because of the grace that is given to me of Yahweh. Yes, sir. That I should be the minister of Yahshua the Messiah to the Gentiles. Yes, sir. Ministering the gospel of Yahweh. See, Apostle Washington, the Spirit is calling him. Hmm? He's not thinking of us as much. He's becoming a minister to those that are Mexico. Yeah. Hallelujah. We do well to remember this and think about this. Read it. That I should be a minister of Yahshua the Messiah to the Gentiles, mm -hmm. ministering the gospel of Yahweh. Yes. That the offering up to, of the Gentiles might be acceptable. Yes, sir. Being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. Read it, read it. I have therefore whereof I may glory through Yahshua the Messiah and those things which pertain to Yahweh. Come on, read it, read it. For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which the Messiah hath not wrought me by me. Come on, get down to here. To make the Gentiles obedient Time by the away. word Come on, yes, sir. Read it. Through mighty signs uh -huh. and wonders. Yes, sir. By the power of the Spirit of Yahweh. Come on now. So that from Jerusalem and round about into Elysium, uh -huh. I have fully preached the gospel of the Messiah. Yes, sir. Ye so I have strived to preach the gospel. See, Pastor Washington, he doing some things. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. He doing some things. Hallelujah. 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 What are we reading about, Pastor Paul? Oh, can we not see the works in Apostle Washington? Amen. <laughs> 
He's saying, yeah, so I have strived to preach the gospel. And that's what he's doing. He's striving to preach the gospel down that way. Amen. Yes, I read it. Ye, so I have strived to preach the gospel. Uh -huh. Not where the Messiah was named. Not where the Messiah was named. And he's going into a point. What is that? Merida? Merida? Merida. Areas where people that don't know Yahshua the Messiah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We are witnessing scripture come to life now. Yes, I read it. Ye so I have strived to preach the gospel, uh -huh. not where the Messiah was named. Yes, sir. Lest I should build upon another man's foundation. Uh -huh. But that is written. Yes, sir. Who he was now spoken of, uh -huh. they shall see. They and, shall see. And they have not heard, shall so understand. Which he was, was not spoken of. Amen. They shall see. He's talking about these people that are, are Mayans. They yes. shall see yes. Yahshua the Messiah. Amen. Uh, huh? Yahshua the Messiah, just like you and I have. Hallelujah. Come on, so rejoice with those Gentiles. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Rejoice with those Meridians. Amen. You people. Amen. Amen, yes, sir. But as it is written, but as it's written to whom he was not spoken come of, on now. they shall see, mm -hmm. and they that have not heard shall understand. Come on now. For which cause I also have been much hindered from coming to you. For this cause which I have been much hindered from coming to uh, you. When are you coming back, Apostle? Amen. <laughs> Why? Just for you to trouble him with your burdens? Hmm? Hmm? Amen. Yeah, maybe if I don't help him, maybe if I don't give finances, he'll come back. He ain't got no choice but to come back. <laughs> He'll be surprised. Hmm? I get the phone calls, huh? I, I get the phone calls. Can't wait till Mother Washington touch back down and love her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't wait till Apostle Washington touch back down. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just to act as if no one taught you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, I read it. But now having no more place in these parts. He said, but having no more place in this part. And having a great desire these many years he to said, come to you. That's what's going on in love. Amen. And the spirit is done over there. Huh? Amen. Have no more place there. Uh, despite what some of you bishops are saying. Amen. Despite what some of you bishops are saying. Yeah. Have no more place. In these parts. What what can we say after a king? You better put a knife at your throat. Spirit is spoken. Hallelujah, huh? It's a period after. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It says you have your own agenda. Hallelujah. Um, but that's another story for another time. Let's go. Read on. Whenever I take my journey into Spain. Whenever I take my journey into Spain. I will come to you. I will come to you. Well, I trust to see you in my don't journey. Don't worry. Possible, he will come back. And to be brought on my way. Huh? But that's, this thing is bigger than you and I. Hmm? Amen. Hallelujah. Huh? Amen. He was sharing with us in the office. He said his he, he concerned he's more concerned about Lubbock in his absence than Arlington. Right. Yeah. However, he always uh, 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 have us in his heart. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But at this time, the Spirit is uh, calling for something greater. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. I've been laboring with you. Right. For this cause, I have let the increase. He left me in here. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. To be able to tend to the flock. Hallelujah. Amen, yeah. huh? Yes, I read it. Whenever I, whensoever I whensoever. take my journey into Spain, uh -huh. I will come to you. I will come to you. For I trust to see you in my journey uh -huh. and to be brought on my way thitherward by you. Uh -huh. And first, I'd be somewhat filled with your company. Read it. But now I go into Jerusalem. Uh, but before to I, before to I come States. to you, hallelujah, uh -huh. he said, I'm going into Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Before to Boss Washington to comes back here, he's going to Pacula. <laughs> he's he going into Mexico City. Yeah. If your if your heart is not in the place where Apostle Washington is, where his mind is, you need to change your frame of thinking. Amen. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Three churches in Mexico. Yeah. Yep. Amen. Hallelujah. And ain't no telling more doors may open up. We become selfish if we if we like that. Yeah. What you're saying is what Yahweh set up for your perfecting is not good enough for you. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I gave gifts unto men. 
Yes, Lord. I gave gifts unto men. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That you may be perfected. Yes, For you to think contrary of this. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Your mind is not where it needs to be. Amen. Yes, sir. Read it. Let's finish it. But now I go into Jerusalem to but minister to the saints. But now I go into saints. Jerusalem to do what? To minister unto the and saints. And that's what he's doing. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yes, sir. For it had pleased them of Macedonia. Come on now. Achia, to make a certain contribution All right, now, for so the poor saints. All right, now, so back to the contribution. I'm going to end it on this note here. But I wish I can keep going, but I can't. Huh? Amen. For it pleased them. Mm -hmm. okay. We all should find some joy yeah. in what the Spirit has commanded of us. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah, huh? Hallelujah. He named two, 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 two uh, places here. Uh, we have two here as of right, right now. Steel. Yeah. Love it. In Arlington. Uh, it should for it had pleased Lubbock and Arlington. It had pleased Lubbock and Arlington. It had pleased Lubbock and Arlington to make a certain contribution. To make a certain contribution for the poor saints which are in Mexico. Oh, that contribution is coming. Up. <laughs> so, come on, now. I didn't think you was with me at first. Uh, I didn't think you was with me at first. That's what I'm talking about. You you want to say you want to beat me? You to be like uh, my father, your father? <laughs> yes, sir. Um, Baby Trace was on when Michael put him on Marco. Polo, yes, sir. And he preached a very short message. Yes, he did. But it was perfect. It was perfect. He said, "Don't be stupid. Mm -hmm. Everything will be all right." Yeah. Don't Amen. Be <laughs> Ooh, Adam out the bay is doing perfect brain. I told your son that yesterday. He called me. <laughs> yeah, don't be stupid. Yeah. Hear these things. Don't be stupid. Yeah. Everything will be all right. Yeah. Everything will be all right. Trust in the Lord with faith, strength, and might. God will not fail you. Just give it to the Lord and he will restore. Yeah, he's he gonna restore your bank account. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 I love the spirit. All right, let's go ahead and finish it. And we'll end at the 27 verse. Amen. It had pleased them barely. It pleased them barely. And their debtors they are. And debtors they are. And if for uh, if the Gentiles Because have been we are in debt. We are in debt to the spirit. Yes, we are. Don't you know that we are in debt hmm? to, the, to the point the Lord gave me a song and I yeah. wrote that in there. I am forever in debt with the Lord yeah. because yeah. I believe. May Yahweh bless you and may Yahweh Amen. keep you. Amen. Let us all rise and receive evangelist children by saying praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Amen. You may be seated. Joe, thank God that from the words that came forth through our beloved prophet Washington. Yeah. I'm thanking my heavenly father Yahweh that I was able to hear such words in my life. Yeah. You know, it's a good thing that, you know, we, we find, you know, joy in the things that we do. Yes, it is. But we can't forget the serious, seriousness behind it. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are all here for one thing, and that is for salvation. Yeah, that's right. And regardless of how the flesh feels about it, we still want to be saved. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, I'm standing before you right now myself, but I've had many family members in here before I was here. You know, you know, my grandmother, she came and she's gone now. My father was here. He, he died off the scene. But I had uncles in his way. Right now you're seeing Evangelist, Evangelist Ernest Childers before you, but it could be my younger brother, Corey, could be before you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Many, of, many people have been here before you, but we're standing here today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You're always calling for a work these days. But it's up to us to make the call, to make the choice that we're going to serve Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's up to us to make the decision, say, look, I want to serve Yahweh all the way through. Amen. My father, to the day that he died, he was trying to he was trying to sacrifice towards the body. He wasn't too concerned with his own health. He wasn't concerned with himself. But his, 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 mind, his mentality was about the ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
And I think about that on a day-to-day -day basis. I said, my mind has to be there. Amen. My focus has to be there. Amen. So while I'm, while I'm still working at my job, I'm, I'm still trying to be a light on the job. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm still the, the one of the evangelists of the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We've all been called here with a holy calling. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 But it's important that we realize this. Yeah, we have others that are stronger than us in certain areas. But are you doing your part to cover the best gift in your life? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you all for the songs and testimonies I was rendered to you all this morning. Amen. But I still think about how we have, we have the truth. Yes. We've been called, hallelujah, yes. to serve y'all with our whole heart. Yes. You know, on my job, I'm still, I'm, I'm still trying to win a soul on the job. I haven't, I haven't given up on my coworker. She's still inquiring, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I had asked her a question. I said, after Yahweh has so-called eased your burdens in one aspect, I said, what is it, what is it now that you need from Yahweh? Yes. Or do you still desire him, hallelujah? See, Yahweh is not a genie in a bottle. He's not here to solve your issues and your problems. He's here to change your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he's not just changing your life. He wants you to serve him. Hallelujah. I told her, I said, yeah, now he's solving problems, you know, solving your issues. I said, what, what, what is it now? What more do you need in your life? When you said you were seeking for Yahweh, was it just for that issue? Then after that was rectified, now all of a sudden you want to do what you want to do? Yeah. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And y'all was asking each and every single one of us that same question. Amen. If you've been here for a while, Hallelujah. Pray to Yahweh. Yahweh, help me, Yahweh. Amen. If you will serve me, if you will help me in this area, Yahweh, I will serve you the rest of my days. Uh huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After Yahweh has worked all these things out in your life, yeah, you asked him about the natural issues. You're not even you're not even focusing on the spiritual things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, the Spirit's been hitting about, you know, finances. Yeah. It really has been. Amen. That's because there's a work at hand. Amen. That's why me and my wife had to have that conversation. Hallelujah. Amen. We're together, working together. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's important that we all have that same mentality. Amen. Now, we're not money preachers. We're not. No. I mean, look what we have. Hallelujah. Amen. If we were money preachers, everything would be upgraded in here. Amen. The whole church, y'all. Everything about you, the building we have today, we wouldn't have this building. Hallelujah. If we were money preachers, that is. But this is what we have. Hallelujah. Our focus is not about finances. It's not. See, see the Apostle Paul, he said, I'm not concerned with, with yours. I'm concerned with you. This, this, this ministry has been set up according to that way. We all should be in here being strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want to consider myself to be weak. Amen. Because if I consider that to be an option, I will fall on that. Yes. Well, I have no choice but to be weak, so I'm going to stay weak. No, that's not an option for me. I got rid of that option in my life a long time ago. Hallelujah. I'm trying to strive to become stronger and stronger day in and day out. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 1. I'm thinking Yahweh. Hallelujah. I know I told Evangelist Davis yesterday, I said I was going to have a, a slight message on my, my children. <laughs> As we were talking with one another, but I see which way the spirit's going. I don't have time to speak about those things. Yeah. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. <laughs> First Corinthians one. Amen. First Corinthians one. Yes. Paul. Paul. Yes. Called to be an apostle of Yahshua the Messiah. Yes, sir. Through the will of Yahweh. Through the will of Yahweh. And the and the sultaness of our brothers. Sultan is our brother. Unto the church of Yahweh, which is at Corinth. Yes. To them that are sacrificed in, in Yahshua the Messiah. To them that I'm, are sanctified in Yahshua the Messiah. To them that are sanctified in Yahshua the Messiah. Yes. Called to be saints. Called to be saints. With all in that very place, called upon the name of Yahshua the Messiah, our Lord. And that's what we're doing this morning. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all decided to get up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And made up our mind to come to the house of Yahweh. Amen. Amen. To hear words that's commanded of Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Regardless which way the spirit goes, I don't find no condemnation in it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> because I find myself being a participant of it. Yes. I, don't find no office, I don't find no office when the spirit talks about giving unto the spirit. Amen. My mom was made up a long time ago to give unto the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I can't speak for everybody here. Amen. We have to make up our own mind, be fully persuaded in our own mind. Yes. Whether you're going to do this thing or not. Yes. Because Hallelujah. offense is going to come. 
And believe me, money is a very touchy subject. Don't touch my money now. <laughs> it's a very taboo, uh, taboo subject. But so is everything else about you in your life. The Spirit can't talk about any other thing, everything else, and you don't get offended in other areas. How do you? How do you? Read on. Unto the church of Yahweh, which is at Corinth. Yes. To them that are sanctified in Yahshua the Messiah. Yes, sir. Called to be saints. Called to be saints. But all that in every place are called upon the name of Yahshua the Messiah. We're taking pride in that. We're called to be saints. Amen. Like, why are you shining a lot on your job? How are you? Yeah. Why are you trying to the standard in your household? Amen. Why are you trying to be strong? Amen. You're called to be a saint. Amen. That should mean something to you. Amen. Hearing uh, Brother Lucas' testimony. Yeah. Talking about you overcoming Satan and he's finding peace with that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody else can be in your position right now. Yeah. It don't have to be you, but you're here. Amen. I don't take that lightly. No. I was just speaking about my younger brother. It could be him before you. Corey could be before you right now. Rather Hallelujah. Than me. Hallelujah. 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 But I acknowledge that I'm here. He's not here. I'm here. Amen. But what am I going to do now that I have this gospel in my lap? Am I just going to be claimed to be a child of God and that's good enough for me? You know, Prophet Washington was talking about the dream to the, to the sister. He's saying, the way, you're, the way that you're walking, you're not, what you're saying and the way you're walking is contradicting one another. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he had to say those words. Like, salvation is not enough for you. Because if it was enough, he changed the way you're walking. Hallelujah. You wouldn't allow things to, to, to shake you from your foundation. We're going to allow these temple things to get the best of you. Yes, if it was about salvation. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Because salvation is more than just these natural things. Yes. Exactly. Yes. They're trying to be the part without actually being the part. Yes. They want to play the role without actually being the role. Yeah, they want to look and sound right rather than being right. Yes. Yes. Now, I found out a long time ago through the other other saints that used to be here. Yes. Found out through their example that I can't walk that way. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Right, because those other brothers that was here before me, and I can just look back and look at the choices they made in their walk. Yeah. I see why they got so weak on the journey. Yeah. Think about Brother Odell. How he's no longer here. Yeah. But I was here when he was here. That could have been me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You ever stop and think about that? That could have been you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't judge no man. Hallelujah. I hold my sins before me at all times. Because I know how good my God has been unto me. And the flesh wants to just ride on that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wants to base his life on past, you know, your past works. That's not good enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, we got to press for the mark of the prize. Of the higher calling. Yeah. We have to do that on a day to day basis. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read on. Unto the church of Yahweh, yes. which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Yahshua the Messiah. Yes. Called to be saints. Yes. With all that in every place called upon the name of Yahshua the Messiah, our Lord. Yes, sir. Both theirs and ours. Both theirs and ours. Grace be unto you. Yes. And peace from Yahweh our Father and from the Lord Yahshua the Messiah. Go ahead. I think I thank my God always on your behalf. Yes. For the grace of Yahweh which is given to you by Yahshua the Messiah. Yes, sir. That in everything ye are ye are enriched you by are him. Enriched by him. In all utterance. In all utterance. And in all knowledge. Yes. Even as a testimony of the Messiah was confirmed in you. Don't you realize we have this knowledge? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We take the knowledge we have when we go out there and we shine a light in dark places. Yeah. yeah. Showing them that there's a, a, a better life you should be living today. Hallelujah. Amen. But here it is now. We're the church of Arlington. And now there's others that's hearing the gospel right now in Mexico. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are already called. Yes. How long has Apostle Washington been, been laboring with us? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Skip down to the 10th verse. Go ahead. Amen. Now I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you, brethren. By the name of our Lord Yahshua the Messiah. Yes. That ye speak, that ye all speak the same thing. We're supposed to be speaking just like Apostle Washington. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say he's the man of God. Hallelujah. When it's in our favor. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yeah. When it's in our favor. Yeah. When it pertains to you. But if he's coming by your house and he's counseling with you every night, yeah. he's not the man of God. Uh -huh. All of a sudden. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the one that preached me into this gospel. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I acknowledge Apostle Washington. If it wasn't for his sacrifice, I would not be here. Amen. If it wasn't for the sacrifice of his family, hallelujah, hallelujah. I would not be here. Amen. I look back with my own life. I look back. I thank Yahweh for his goodness. Amen. I look back and I think about others because I see others better than myself. Amen. If it wasn't for you all, all of your sacrifices, I would not be here. Amen. The brethren that were strong enough when I first got here encouraged me to, to strive on. Amen. I wouldn't be here if I didn't have that in my life. Amen. My wife, she has a, there's like a small frame of some words that we gave her one time when she was going through a dark, dark times before we were married and had brothers and sisters listing things of words of encouragement towards her. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's those small things that help us on our journey. Yes. We're all on this exodus of life. We all are. Yes. As I was explaining to my coworker, letting her know, look, y'all always been good unto you. It's not that he, that he just solved everything for you. So now you can go be a fornicator uh -huh. because you're free. To, she's, she's free to marry now. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We found out after we went through the old Testament, all the way back to the new Testament, we found out, that she's free from the, from the law. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It took some time. Yes, it did. But I thank God for the teaching. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. And then after that, you want to find out. I said, you want to find yourself in servitude to Yahweh. Yeah. yeah. Giving your life towards him. Yeah. Then I had to go to the, from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Trying to, to elaborate some more things about that. Amen. Talking about, you know, how Moses was called. And he was called a... And he was, uh, during that time, the, the, the firstborns were being persecuted. And his mother sent him forth on, you know, on a river and let, it, let him go so he could be free. But then, you know, I think it was Potiphar's wife that took him from the river and sent him into the, the, the hands of the Egyptians. Amen. And she raised him, raised him as his own. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through all that, of course, he, he became the deliverer because Yahweh called him. Yeah. His strange acts, he made, made a way for him. Amen. The burning bush that was not consumed by fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all spoke to him. Yeah, he called him to be a deliverer for his children, the children of Israel. Hallelujah. 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 Through all that, the, the ten plagues found, found, fell upon Egypt. They made a way through the Red Sea. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, on the other side. They still had to go and go through the journey. They still had to go through the desert for 40 years. And through the one wrong act that Moses did, Hallelujah, didn't permit him to go into the promised land. Yeah. After all that transpired, then another was called Joshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joshua was called, and Yahweh was going to work with him the same way he did. He worked with Moses. Yeah. Worked all that for Joshua and, and, and increased the beliefs of the, of the children of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through all these, all these different transactions, made a way for you to make it possible for you to know the Messiah. Amen. To go, I'm just trying to cut the story short. Got me here all day talking about all those things. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have all the time today like I had the other days I had to explain it to her. Yeah. Hallelujah. But we're talking about servitude. I said, you have free will today. A lot of people get caught up in free will. I said, think about it. Yahweh made you the way he wanted you to be. At that point in time, as far as being crazy, creating man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, now you have a free will. Now you have to willingly give a willing sacrifice to Yahweh to serve him. Because you have this free will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because if he was a God, he made you like a robot. He'll make you do what he wants you to do. But you know what? That's not love. Hallelujah. So therefore, he's a loving God. So forget about the free will uh, aspect of it all. You have free will to choose whether you want to serve Yahweh or not. Amen. That's why I went to Joshua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church is this day who you're going to serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we all have to make up our own mind who we're going to serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If Yahweh seemed good to you, serve him. Amen. All these other gods out there. Hallelujah. 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 Serve them. But choose you this day who you're going to serve. Amen. 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 Only you can acknowledge what Yahweh has done for you in your life. Uh -huh. Right now, here we are right now in 2023. We're doing a work, a mighty work of Mexico. This is what we always wanted. Think back in time past how we wanted to do a great work for Yahweh. The times we raised funds for this very purpose. It was preparing us for this work at hand. I remember the days in Southwest Third Street. Hallelujah. Yeah. But we came together. We had garage sales. And we had all these things that we did for the work of the ministry. I wasn't in Dallas. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Now, I was here and there in Leveland as a visitor, so to speak. But I've seen the same work happen. What's happening in Lubbock? You know, Leveland was packed to the brim. People everywhere was flocking into the Leveland church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Walking had nowhere to sit. Where, where do I sit? I had to sit by uh, Sister Rose at the time. <laughs> I'm not trying to change my message and talk about peaching. No, I'm not. No, I'm not talking about <laughs> Sometimes you get peach on the, you're sitting on the pews and all that. <laughs> Wake up. Pay attention. That goes with someone getting slapped in the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was on the other side, asleep. Woke up instantly. <laughs> Bobby said he thought he got hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Somebody went down for the camp. <laughs> and another one <laughs> went down. <laughs> Those are the Leveland days. Yeah. <clears throat> but you did have strong individuals there at that time. But there were so many people getting weak. Hallelujah. Amen. So many people were reverting back to the old man. Yeah. Therefore, there was only a few that came out of Leveland. Yeah, they started to diminish by the wayside, to the left and to the right. This is not the first time Apostle Washington has been through this walk. Hallelujah. And those that were there, it's not the first time. I heard the, the reports. I wasn't there, but I heard the reports, and I believe the reports. Hallelujah. Exactly. Let the cares of this life choke the word out. That's right. And we're in the same stead today. Man, is still the same. That's why we can go to Old Testament and still be able to get you. Hallelujah. This man's behavior is still the same. Still getting more wicked and more wicked every day. Who can outdo one another in evilness? Wickedness. Hallelujah. But see, we have a God, though. Don't forget you have a God that's on your side. Who wants to save you? Hallelujah. But there's also there's a requirement. You can't forget that there's a payment you must pay to Yahweh. He wants your life. He wants you. It's not about everything that you have and you're accumulated throughout the years. No, no, he wants no. you. Because everything you have is temporal. Right. Yeah. The only thing we can offer is ourselves to Yahweh. Right. That's what he wants. Right. Read on. Read on, Deacon. Now I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you. By the name of our Lord Yeshua the Messiah. Yes, sir. That ye all speak the same thing. That you all speak the same thing. And that there be no divisions among you. What purpose is it for you to be different? Right. Amen. We're all in here. This is our support group. We go through our evil days at times. And you can always rely to the strong for, you know, some advice or counseling. What should I do in this dark time of mine? Amen. Do you have an answer for my solution? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of us have forgot to pray to Yahweh. That's where we get so weak at because we forget to pray to the one that can change, strengthen us to go through our adversity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I was on the job, I said, Yahweh, I didn't want it to be one of those uh, times when you witness to somebody and after they get what they want, they're gone. And I was talking to my wife. I said, you know, I just wanted it to be more. The following day, she came to me with some questions. I was like, where did this come from? But I remember that I had prayed to Yahweh. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think about Elder Andre. I think about Brother Chris. Yes. To the ones that we had witnessed to before. Yes. And they came into the faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We can't give up on one another. Yes. Because we need one another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we must have the same mind while we're here. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm doing my duty as an evangelist to reach out, to shine my light, to give an answer to every man to ask of me. Hallelujah. That's why we're here. So Yahweh can shape and mold us according to his will that sends back out into a wicked world to show them, look, the Messiah has already came. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time for you to repent and change your ways. Yeah. Serve Yahweh with me. Yeah. Read on. Now I beseech you, therefore, brother. I beseech you, yes. By the name of our Lord Yahshua the Messiah. Yes, sir. That ye all speak the same thing. That y'all speak the same thing. And that there be no divisions among you. See, money could cause division. Amen. That's right. It really could cause division. Hallelujah. You're on board with it. All of a sudden, they call your hand. Yeah. You find yourself not, you know, sacrificing like you need to be sacrificed. See, the Spirit is not going to make you do anything. I was just talking about he's a God of love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must believe that Yahweh loves us. 
It's not so much that we love him, but he loved us first. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when it comes down to finances, that shouldn't even be a, that shouldn't be a, what do they call it? Um, when you're in a relationship and, and it, it caused you to separate from them, it was too much for you. Uh, what do they call it? It's like a certain limitation. That was a, that was a deal breaker. That was a deal breaker that cut us, cut us off. Yeah. It was too much. Amen. You know, he wanted me to do this and that was a deal breaker. I had to break it off. Yeah. Hallelujah. Y'all was not doing that with us. No. We need him. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's not the other way around. No. We need Yahweh. Amen. So the word should not be a deal breaker. Amen. Because the Spirit's coming and dealing with finances. That shouldn't be a deal breaker for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. No, not at all. We know how he talks to us. Amen. You get finicky when your wife asks you for money. <laughs> when you go ask your wife, your wife get finicky about you ask about money. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That should not be the deal breaker. Amen. I give all of my, I give all my all my money to my wife. All of a sudden, one day I'm gonna allow Satan to talk to me. Now it's a deal breaker. I'm taking it back. I can't, I can't allow that. I've come too far. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am not ignorant. We shouldn't be ignorant of Satan's devices. Y'all always be good to us all. I don't make the type of money that a prophet Washington makes. I don't make the same. I don't even compare myself to other bishops and other people here. I don't do that. Amen. I live, well, I do what's best for my family. Amen. Holly, I know what we can do. Yes. That comes through community. Sorry, say that again. Yeah, you have to know that. You got to yeah. know where you stand. Yeah. Thus, you got to have communication with your spouse. Yes. Amen. I love my wife. Hallelujah. I'm glad she has much, much more wisdom when it comes down to finances. Because I'm a free giver. I'm take it. I don't even care. Yeah. I, what change? What, what are you talking about? I don't, I don't have no change. That's for somebody else. It ain't for me. She's like, but we need that. What are you doing? You're just kidding. We needed that back. No, just let them have it. It's fine. Yeah, but you don't see the bills. You don't see the things. Like, that's the type of heart that I have. Hallelujah. My wife, she's like, let's, get, let's, let's try to you know, do this thing right. So our house can sustain itself. Amen. You know, Apostle Washington was saying we don't give out a necessity. The things that we have to have, of course, you know, you gotta have, you know, gotta pay for your mortgage and all that kind of stuff. Electricity's gotta be on at the house. Food arrangement, all these things that, yeah, we're talking about the things that you do at luxury, you like things you just want to have. I gotta have Netflix. I gotta have. I gotta have Amazon Prime. I gotta have it. No, not the Disney Plus too. That sounds childish. <laughs> it sounds childish. Amen. How old you say? We are grown adults in this place, others rather than the children. I'm speaking to the adults here. Yeah. The children are not they're not sacrificing funds like we are. No. Yeah, they don't have jobs. No. I'm not expecting Ezra to come out of pocket. Yeah. Besides, all of a sudden, where's your funds at? <laughs> you heard the spirit. <laughs> you heard what the spirit is saying about sacrifice. Where's your sacrifice? Where's your wallet at? Let me see it. No, we're talking about these children right here. Yeah. The grown children in here. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think my Heavenly Father Yahweh that we have this understanding. But we got to walk accordingly. We have to have the same mind. Amen. Read on. That we speak the same thing. The same thing. And there be no divisions among you. No divisions among you. But that, that ye be perfectly joined together that in the be, same mind that and in the same perfectly judgment. perfectly joined together. Amen. With the same mind. We can and have, in the same judgment. We can have this family say, I'm going to sacrifice towards the ministry. And the other family says, I'm not going to do that. Amen. I'm not talking about certain levels. I'm talking about you're not going to do it at all. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because when that family is at, you might not be there. Amen. Yeah. But we must give it to this ministry. We must do it. Amen. It's a must. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Every man that purpose in his own heart yeah. to give it to the spirit, not grudgingly. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. But I think Yahweh, because you know, me and my wife, we had the same mind. We, we, we sat down and we, we, we went through the books. So this is what we have to get. Hallelujah. Amen. No, we when we got done, we were at, at odds with one another. You know, we ought to do better than that. No, hold on. We were supposed to be one one in this thing. Hallelujah. Amen. We came together and it was a peaceful. Uh, resolution. Yes. Everything turned out for the better. We know what we're going to sacrifice to this ministry. Hallelujah. The children's household is always in debt to the church. Always. 
I'm saying that for my family. We're always in debt to the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Read on. For it had been the for it had been declared unto me of you, yes, my brethren, my brethren, by them which are in the house of Chloe, yes, that there be contentions among you. See, our household needs to be strong. Yes. Amen. We should be looking at one another, and being jealous, and all that stuff. It doesn't even matter with y'all. Don't you no. forget about those things? Amen. This is a spiritual walk. Amen. Hallelujah. Our emotions have nothing to do with this walk. Amen. That's right. You often times you hear me speak about emotions. Yeah. The only emotions I'm talking about are those that are contrary to the spirit. Yeah. I'm not talking about you know crying. I'm not talking about that. Your feelings may be well be hurt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's not wrong. You're allowed to get angry. Hallelujah. Amen. You just don't sin with the anger. Yeah, exactly. Amen. Have this type of mind that you want to do everything you can do for the ministry. Yeah. Get past ourselves. Amen. I have to get past myself every single day Amen. because I wake up different every single day. I wake up and say he's already talking to me. I already want me to go to contrary. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I always want me to do the opposite of what the Spirit has said. Yeah. Say, no, I want my family to be strong. Guess what? I'm going to have to overcome a flesh, do what the Spirit said and told me to do, so that our family can be blessed. Yeah. Apostle came into the house Wednesday, and they're bringing up Mother Karen's uh, clothes inside. He said, I feel Yahweh in this house. Yeah. That's what I want to hear. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you're not if you're not working on your household, don't expect to hear those words. Yeah. You say it can't be like uh, Sister Gayla's dream. It can't be like the dream that Mother Gayla, Gayla had at the beginning of the dream when she swung by the spirit swung by the Hurley house. And when she opened up the door, Pastor, uh, Sister Reese was on one side, Pastor Hurley was in the middle, and Sister Abigail was on the other side. And then Pastor Hurley covered himself. Yeah. Amen. 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 Contentions. Let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 1. I realize I know that I'm not the apostle. Hallelujah. I'm not Apostle Washington. I'm not. But I am an evangelist. I'm here to back up what he's already laid. Hallelujah. And the only words I'm going to share with you is the words that I have received myself. I'm not going to go no further than that. <laughs> Hallelujah, saints. We all know our proper place in this ministry. Everything's been set up according to Yahweh's will. 2 Corinthians 6 and 1. Amen. 2 Corinthians 6 and 1. Yes. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that you receive not the grace of Yahweh in vain. It's also of us, we then. All of us, we're supposed to be workers together. Hallelujah. I think it's that first Corinthians, I think it's chapter 12, talking about the schism in the body. There should be no schism in the body. We're about to make a major move that's about to come up in this, in this coming year. Amen. We're to have some more people here. Amen. Amongst us. Not just anybody, but fellow saints. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you working to prepare you yourself for the work at hand? Amen. Yeah, we talked about Mexico. Yes, we have. But what's, in our, what's, in our, what's, right, what's right before us? Yeah. Love is coming down here. Yeah. Because the candlestick went out. Hallelujah. Yeah. That candlestick went out in Lubbock. Yeah. Just like it did in Leveland. It went out. Yeah. Heard my brother. My brother was preaching about, uh, talking about how men had tried to occupy the same building down there in Leveland. And it never worked out. Yeah. The place got cursed. Hallelujah. Yeah. People come in and they reside there for a few months. They said, we got to get out of here. Something happens. Something comes up. Same thing is going to happen with love, hallelujah. Amen. Because man chose not to serve Yahweh Amen. with their whole heart. Yes, That's the end result of that building or the people there yeah. when they when they choose not to serve Yahweh with their whole heart. Amen. Amen. Same thing will happen with us, hallelujah. Yeah. If we don't serve this God that we chose yeah. to serve, yeah. that we proclaim his name, but if our heart is not in it, the same thing will happen with us. Amen. Don't let us fool ourselves. Yeah. We're strong right now. There were seven churches, hallelujah. At one point in time, they were strong. But the, but the letter was written when they were weak. I have someone against you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't let us lose our first love. This thing's all about love and faith. 
Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You want this place to reside the way that it is and get stronger? Yes, Check your love. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We got to be working together. Yes, Read on. For he said, I yes. have heard thee in a the time accepted. Yes. And in the day of salvation that has secured thee. Yes. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Now is the day of salvation. Amen. Give me no offense in anything. Today is the day, saints. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whenever, whenever the message goes forth, that's why me and my wife, we had to commune with one another. Because we didn't want Satan to come in right. and start giving excuses. Yeah. Because he's very good at that. And the flesh was abiding to the excuses all the time. Always trying to say, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah, I don't know why, I don't know why the spirit think about that. No, excuses are of the flesh. That's how I see it. I see excuses are of the flesh. Yeah. And I say that because I, I've seen it within my own flesh. I realized when I didn't want to do something, when that lazy spirit wanted to come around, I don't think we should be doing it. That's according to the flesh. Yeah. How you feel about the situation. That's according to your flesh. Yeah. That's, all it is. That's all it is. That's why I talk about emotions the way I do. Because emotions have been against me every step of the way. Amen. Trying to serve Yahweh. Amen. Trying to serve him with my whole heart. Yes. Emotions have always been there. Uh -huh. Started off with my, well, not didn't start off with my marriage. But it entered into my marriage. Because I wasn't working on myself the way that I should have been. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Excuses are of the flesh. That's why Apostle Washington said, I don't want to hear your words. Because everything you got to say is excuses and excuses. Hallelujah. We have to get our minds right with the Spirit. The Spirit is calling for a work today. Now is the day of salvation. Now is the acceptable time. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said that I'm going to follow Apostle Washington like my father told me. I can't speak for my brothers. I can't speak for you all. But I know what I was told. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On my dad's dying day, he said, son, follow Apostle Washington Amen. with all that you got. Hallelujah. Yeah. So just like that song that children sing, you know, that way, you know, um, serve y'all with my mind and soul and my might. Hallelujah. Yeah. I know that we consider that a children's song, but apply it to your life. Yeah. It's perfect praises coming from those children. Yeah. yeah. I agree with their words. I say, I got to do that. Right, right. I, I, would, I would love the Lord with all my heart, with all my joy, with all my mind. I might sound, I might sound childish to you, but those words stand true. Yeah. I'm going to serve Yahweh. I'm going to serve Him. Yeah. Forget about myself. I'm nothing. Yeah. There's nothing to this body of mine. Hallelujah. Right, right. Hallelujah. The flesh, it, it loves the things of the flesh. Amen. Carnal for carnal, spiritual for spiritual, as the Apostle Paul said. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we got to find ourselves giving ourselves to this ministry. Amen. Give yourself to the ministry. That's what Amen. Apostle Washington wants of us. Amen. I believe he went to one scripture talking about the Apostle Paul. He said he wanted to know uh, is the Messiah crucified in your life? Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, His only concern was like, is the Messiah crucified? Yes, so I, I offer the same question to you: Is the Messiah crucified? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, you've been dead a long time ago. Yeah. I was watching the funeral of uh, James Cleveland. He was dead, right? I mean, he did. And the people were like worshiping him. I was like, what's going on here? And my wife was like, she was in the utility room. She said, death is a very scary thing. I'm like, yeah, you're right. It is a very scary thing. But if you're dead, just like he was dead, hallelujah. It wouldn't matter what the Spirit says to you because you'll be willing to offer that. Yeah. It won't matter to you because you're dead. Yeah. You have no say so in the matter. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, if you want, if I if I'm dead like the way I am, I'm supposed to be. I wouldn't have anything to say against the Spirit. Yeah. You won't have anything to say against the Spirit. Yeah. Spirit asks for sacrifice. Guess what? I'm dead. I'm going to give it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Because I acknowledge that the Spirit's given me everything that I have. Right. Amen. The house I have today, hallelujah. hallelujah. The job I have today. The two cars that we have today was all ordained from the Spirit. Because we sought for counseling and everything we did. Even down to our finances, hallelujah. The Spirit said, you know, get yourself a budget. Well, my wife, she's, she's good at that. So we, got, we sat down and we budget everything. Hallelujah. 
See, I have to watch myself because I'm the one who wants to be freelancing. You don't want me to spend money here carelessly. It's like, uh, hey, I saw the bank statements. Hey, yeah, quick draw my girl over here. Just, just with the wallet, just <laughs> might not be nothing in there, but you know, <laughs> but I believe it's there. So if you find out shortly, there's nothing there. But I'm willing to serve God. This God, yeah, talking about servitude. Hallelujah. I was telling the, the, the co workers that look, me and my wife, we don't argue. Hallelujah. That she tried to apply it to her life as if it stood for something. I'm like, that doesn't, that doesn't happen with you. That's not the case because it doesn't apply because we're being taught from the spirit how to get along with one another. I said, but if you want the same thing, because she's interested in somebody now. Hallelujah. He seems to be like one of those high rollers. He's a uh, businessman. So it's another level. So it's very, it's very appealing to her. Hallelujah. I said, but I oftentimes ask her, I said, I said, but your plans is not the same plans as Yahweh wants for you. I mean, if you go off and you marry him, that's your choice. Because she's not a part of the faith, so no, there's no reason for me to say Mary are only in the Lord. That really doesn't apply to her. She's not even in the Lord. Yeah, yeah she's got to get to the Lord first in order for that to work out that way. Me and my wife were both taught of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we, we acknowledge the hierarchy in our family. And so we know that I'm the head of the house. I had the last say, hallelujah. And she's looking for a spiritual man to marry. You're not going to find it out there. Even if they claim to be spiritual minded. Hallelujah. Even if they claim to be spiritual minded. You know they're not spiritual. We know, hallelujah. We know that they're not spiritual minded as they claim. According to their walks and their deeds. Yeah, they conform to the world. Claiming to be Christian, but they conform to the world. And here we don't conform to the world. Our minds are renewed in the spirits. But the renewing of your mind, that's how we walk. Hallelujah. We're not the same. My calling is definitely, totally different than her walk. It's totally different. There's times she, uh, she, she's quick at the hips. She's quick with the mouth and tongue. I'm not like that. Anger, yeah, anger burns within me. Believe me, I get angry about something every day. It comes my way all the time. Yeah. But you would never know it. Yeah. Getting pretty good at just giving the face. Yeah. As if I'm not bothered by anything. Yeah. That's you. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Lee, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I hold this face all day long. I smile and talk to everybody. Her, her testimony on my sister, she talked about she talked to everybody. But there's certain individuals, they, they kind of ruffle your feathers a little bit. Try to get under your skin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I take this walk very seriously. I know how to possess my vessel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we've all been taught how to possess our vessels. Nobody should be flying at the handle. Anger blowing up. If anybody had a reason to blow up, it'd be that man over there. Probably Washington. Yeah. <laughs> when I hear about his situation, I want to blow up. And his sister had nothing to do with me. <laughs> On the inside, I'm like, why did that happen? Yeah. It has nothing to do. <laughs> so I go back to this. <laughs> I laugh sometimes when you talk to me. I laugh. I'm trying to ease, you know, kind of find a little humor in it. Outside of that, we're still fine. But I'm talking about if anybody had a reason to. Yeah. We know his situation. Yes. Hallelujah. And when he says words, I know that he's true to his words. Because he's proven himself over and over. Just like his father, over and over. He's always proven himself. Hallelujah. These men here, they have proven themselves. Not just to me, but the way they walk. They're proving their love to Yahweh. With you all, whoever's strong in here, hallelujah. According to your walk, you're proving your love to your your father Yahweh. So God has called you out of darkness and brought you into this marvelous light. Read on. Giving no offense in anything. Giving no offense in anything. That the ministry should be not blamed. I don't want this ministry to be blamed at all. That's why I walk carefully. Circumspectly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As wise and not as fools. Uh Be wise as servants, harmless as doves. 
Hallelujah. I got to check myself all the time. All the time. Especially when you're witnessing on the job. You're witnessing to somebody. You got to check the way you're walking. Because you can get, you get free with your, your words. And then you got to catch yourself. Yeah. I, I've been on this job. I've been on this job for 11 years. Hallelujah. If I change anything about my walk, it's going to be very noticeable. Yeah, all of a sudden, yeah, now I'm mad and angry at everybody. Sharing my feelings with everybody. And they know that I'm not like that. Hallelujah. Amen. But I thank y'all for the teaching of the Messiah. Amen. God, I know as long as I have this seed within me, Amen. I'm not going to sin. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to be just like David. I'm going to I'm going to keep my tongue. I'm going to broaden my tongue. Yeah. Yeah. While the wicked is before me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to walk. I'm going to behave myself as wise. Amen. While the wicked is before me. Amen. Because we're trying to win souls out there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The time passed. I didn't have this mind. Had, a, had any kind of walk before people. That's true. Claiming to be uh, of God. Uh-huh. But let anger get the best of you. Right. I sp- that was to my shame. Amen. I still think about the time past. I still cry about those things. Amen. If I would have just been stronger, they could have been won into the faith. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> right now, you see Apostle Washington is doing everything that he can do. Amen. We just heard the report. Men are getting baptized. Yeah. In a new part of Mexico. Hallelujah. People want the truth. When I gave the truth to my coworker, she didn't despise it. She didn't get angry. I said, I thank you for that. Because many that have told them in time past, they got angry. Amen. And they didn't want to hear the words that I had to share with them no more. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But she, she's, she's proven herself to have a heart to want to learn of the Messiah. Amen. So therefore, I continue to reach out to her. I haven't given up on her because she, her, her problem was resolved. No, I got to get her to the faith. Hallelujah. Amen. But as long as she's inquiring, I'm going to be there. Yeah. But other than that, I ain't got nothing else for you. As I said in time past, if you want something else, I, I can't offer that to you. I'm not, I don't have anything else to give to you Amen. other than the Messiah. Amen. Read on, Deacon. But in all things, but in all things, approving ourselves approving, as ministers of Yahweh, approving ourselves. Amen. Me, me and my son, I'm t- I was talking with Esaias. And we sat down in the dining room and he said, what would be a good chapter for him to go to? Because he wants to read into the book. Amen. He said, you can start over there in, second, in Titus. Titus 2. You're talking about the young man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's ordered to be sober-minded. Hallelujah. You can start with that. So you can read the whole chapter if you want to. But he's in the book. Amen. My job as a father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The head of my house. I got to take the time out to not hide these things from my children. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My wife, she has a lot of things. She, she spends a lot of time with him. Because she's at home more than I am. Amen. But at the same time, this, the time that my son's inquiring about something, <laughs> you best believe I'm going to get into the book with him. Amen. And even when they're not inquiring about something, yes, Lord. I still have to make that, that, that full force effort to show my sons this is our life. Amen. This is what we live by. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just like my father did for me, I got to do the same thing for my sons. I said, who knows one of these days? It'd be you reading for me. It'd be Ezra reading for me. (laughs) It'd be Ephraim reading for me. Even Ethan, I have all four of y'all reading for me. Hallelujah. Me and my brothers, we've done it. I was was the first reader. Uh, Robert Childers was the second reader. And uh, Pastor Riddle was the third reader, reader yeah. right here in the front. Right. You saw all with your own eyes. We're all reading for the man of God. Yeah. Me and my father did it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Who said you can have fun in the spirit? Yeah. Amen. You better believe it. My, my home's like, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna get that scripture before my dad does. Hallelujah. I'm going to be here. Hallelujah. Amen. We have fun in, with the spiritual things. Hallelujah. This is our life, saints. Amen. This is all that we have. Why not make the best of it? <laughs> I want to rejoice in this thing. I love, I love it when Apostle Hurley, when he's preaching. I love it. Amen. Amen. Davis, when he's pre- I always listen to my brothers when they're down there tag teaming down there. I'm always listening to them. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Apostle Stanford can go way back. Way back. 
Yes, and me and the house of Stefan is here. Brother, <laughs> brother get him over here. We go way back. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is our line. Yeah. Amen. I love Yahweh for doing what he's done for us in our life. We're, we're all strangers of pilgrims. We're trying to get to a certain point in our life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. But we have to be ser serious about serving Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. We have to be. Yes. Believe me, I want to laugh my whole life through. I just want to laugh about everything. Yeah. Mishaps and this and that and everything else. Yeah, I want to be that person where I don't want to take, I don't want to be the person not to take life serious. Amen. But according to my flesh, I want to be that way. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. But I'm finding joy in serving Yahweh. Amen. Got some new friends now. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read on. Got a little bit more. But in all things, approving ourselves as ministers of Yahweh. Yes. In much patience. And we're all ministers here. All of us in here are ministering. Certain certain forms of factions, we're all ministering. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read on. In much patience. In much patience. In affliction. In much patience. Much patience. Much patience. As I'm witnessing, it's working on my patience. Amen. It's helping me to remember the words that Apostle Washington has given unto us throughout the years. Amen. To try to recant that, those memories back to somebody else that needs to hear, hear, hear the gospel. And I take that very seriously. Yeah. Because I had men that was before me that <clears throat> went to the scriptures to allow me to see myself. Yes, Lord. To realize that by the walk that I, that I was walking was not good a good walk. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Much patience. In afflictions. In much afflictions. In necessities. In much necessities. In distress. In much distresses. In much stripes. Who said that, you know, that the saints shouldn't, shouldn't be suffering? Amen. When I read these words here, it's all about suffering. That's yeah. Right. Who said that, it's, that I'm born again so I shouldn't have to suffer? It's written in your book. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These, these words right here are not good words. Amen. Suffering, distresses, what? That don't sound good to me. No. According to the flesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be patient for what? Once they don't, we say, well, why are you going to be patient? <laughs> According to the teaching out there. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Wait, sir. Whenever it says, when a man's ways please Yahweh, it'll cause all his enemies to be at peace with him. Sometimes it takes time for that to happen. Yeah. You just got to be patient and keep going. That's right. Everything doesn't happen overnight. Amen. I think about, you know, Mother Kathy and Apostle Washington. He didn't witness to her until like three years later. Hallelujah. Yeah. So everything's on Yahweh's time. Yeah. With my coworkers, everything's on Yahweh's time. Yeah. I said, I said, do you think he's a God of yay all the time? And she had to stop and think about it. She's like, I said, because your problem was resolved now, you found out that you're free from the law. <laughs> I think it was Apostle Hurley who came by and said, so the, does that give you a liberty to sin now? It's okay to now you can go frolic and, and fornicate with everybody you want to fornicate with? No, that's not, what, that's not the reason why that's set up that way. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But now that she's free, I said, that question always comes up. Like, okay, so now what is it about Yahweh that you want? I said, now you got to find yourself working on your heart. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because Yahweh wants your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wait, like, like Sister Israel and Brother You. Yes. She cried and cried for what she wanted from Yahweh. Yahweh gave her exactly what she wanted, but she was not ready for it because she wasn't ready to give her whole heart <laughs> to Yahweh. So even if you get what you want from Yahweh, it doesn't mean that's what's going to keep you. That's like right. Prophet Jenkins always says, what brought you here is you're going to have to dig deeper right. to stay here. Yeah. There's going to be something that's more important than that. Amen. Because that's what brought you here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Me being moved to this department, I see, I see how y'all was working with that, but I knew he was going to do something. Amen. And all this was unraveled later. Like, I'm talking about months later. She had approached me about her situation. I didn't see, I didn't see anything about that. I didn't know her life. I didn't know any of those yes. things. Amen. But she brought it to my attention. Then we went to the book because the, the, the man that she was married to was trying to use the word of God for, for abuse. So you, you're my wife. You need to shut up and do it as, as I say. That, exactly. It's not, it's not the Muslim faith. No. You can't ground your wife to the couch. No. That's what they do in the Muslim faith. Hallelujah. You're grounded. 
Yeah, it's not the Old Testament. I'm going to stone you because you're not listening to me. I can't get rid of you for every cause. Hallelujah. So this, Yahweh wants you. Hallelujah. That's what I told you. Yahweh wants you. Yeah. That's why we're in the Old Testament so much. That's why I got to break down so much stuff to her. Because she doesn't come from a church background. A lot of things she doesn't know. Amen. So I'm having to open things up just to start off from the baseline. I'm like, Lord. But it's, it's helping me as well. Hallelujah. It's Hallelujah. Giving, it's giving me more refined in the word. It's keeping me there when my flesh doesn't want to be there. It's like, was I hired here to preach? Or was, or was I supposed to be working? No, I'm still working. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I'm still working. I'm still doing the, my 200% on the job. But during, during our downtime, that's when she's asking me these questions. So I'm doing things properly and in order. That's what I'm saying. Amen. How do you read it? In much stripes. Much stripes. In much imprisonment. Much imprisonment. In much tum tumult. Tumults, yes. In much labors. Yes. In much watching. Yes. In much fasting. Read on. By pureness. By pureness. By knowledge. By knowledge. By long suffering. Yes. By kindness. Yes. By the Holy Ghost. Yes. By love unfeigned. By love unfeigned. Amen. The words that we're hearing, hallelujah, it's preached in love. Amen. There's nothing behind it. It's not found in pretense. It's not. The spirit is true. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the words that's given unto us. When we take it and we apply it to our life. Amen. The results are always good. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we have good doctrine here. Hallelujah. We have good bishops here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's taking away the bad bishops and giving us good bishops. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If we preach the Messiah, hallelujah, Amen. we should be considered good ministers. Yeah. Hallelujah. Good stewards. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to perfect what Yahweh's given unto us. Uh -huh. Working on ourselves day in and day out. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trying to give ourselves for the elect's sake. Yeah. Just like Apostle Washington does. Yeah. Yeah. Got to have his same mind. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. The same concern. Yeah. The same love. Yeah. The same judgments. Yeah. The same rule. Yeah. Minding the same things. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's how you know you're working on yourself. Uh-huh. When these things equate to the man of God, that's how you know. You're not guessing no more. Me and my household, we're not guessing if we're serving Yahweh. You're not guessing if I'm loving my wife anymore. The time passed when I said, oh, yeah, I love her. I love her. Just like McDonald's. That was my favorite saying back then. I've grown. Hallelujah. I'm past Mickey D's now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to move from McDee's Burger King. I was I was promoting McDonald's, but really my slogan was I want it my way. <laughs> like, like Burger King. Yeah. I was trying to love my wife according to the way that I felt. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't getting the same results as the man of God. My walk was not the same like the rest of the bishops. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore I stayed in trouble with the man of God, with the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But today, hallelujah, today, yeah. I can say I'm loving my wife, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, I could bring my wife up here. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I said I could bring her up here. But you already know the results. All you got to do is turn around and look at her. And you would see that she's smiling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We had a gathering at the house, I think a little while back. And I happened to be talking to uh, Prophet Washington. I think Ali was there, too. And my wife, you know how my wife dresses. She's all, you know, colorful. Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, she's just like Kulera, she's a very colorful. <laughs> and Harvey had said something. He said, so look at my sister looking like a big piñata. <laughs> and, <then, laughs> and she was in front of me. She was in front of me. I turned around, I look. I looked at Harvey, I said, so you're saying that she's a piñata, right? I said, so in this instance, you're saying that I'm the only one that should be able to hit on her, right? And, so, <laughs> and she's a piñata. I'm the only one that can hit on her. That's my wife. Amen. Hallelujah. In that case, I'm not saying that that was true. Or whatever. <laughs> hey, I'm just letting you know. It's, it's his words. I'm, I love this way, saints. I really do. Amen. I love serving Yahweh. Yeah. I'm finding joy in serving my God. Amen. However it may come. Hallelujah. 
my kids. I love my kids. I adore my kids. I love what I'm seeing right now with my, my two oldest. Hallelujah. They're growing and maturing in the faith. That's what I want. That's what we want. We want our kids to be profitable in this way. Therefore, we shall not hide them from our children. Hallelujah. They're going to know the dark sayings of old. They're going to know the testimonies. I tell my son, Isaiah, all the time about his, his, his grandpa, Apostle Washington. The sacrifices that brought him and his, his granddad together. What it took for them to be reunited. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I speak about these things because I heard it for myself. Yeah. I wasn't there. Hallelujah. But this is what brought the church together. The children's household of the Washington's were there in the beginning. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he has both blood in him. Yeah. I take pride in that. Yeah. I'm proud I'm proud for what Yahweh has done for, with me and my family. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to be considered a strong family in here. We're not weak, we're strong. All we gotta do is get past our feelings, get past our emotions. Yahweh's gonna work it out. Hallelujah. So don't be stupid. Yahweh's gonna work it out. Thank you for telling me that. Don't be stupid. Yahweh's gonna work it all out. Why are you trying to figure it out? Yahweh's already worked it out. Hallelujah. I think Yahweh for the words. Let's serve Yahweh with the whole heart. Hallelujah. I love you all. Continue to keep the church's household in prayers. We continue to pray for you. Amen. Amen. Let us bring forth our beloved Pastor Riddle. All right. By saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, saints. There's a word on time. In case y'all didn't know, I am here. <laughs> but I do thank Yahweh for what the Spirit has said this morning. Truly, it is always on time for us. But the word has been spoken, saints. Let us go into our announcements.